Yeah, so I'm, I'm at Walmart right now with my friend Brian. What's up? And uh, he's getting ready to take me on the hike. They have maple bacon donut cereal back there. That's insane. Anyways, uh, we got about an hour and a half drive ahead of us. I'm stopping off here to get some fake Crocs, uh, just for some camp shoes, uh, something super light that I can wear. So do I go $12.99 for $12.93 for Realtree or $9.98 for Cheapos? I'm going straight up Cheapos. Yeah? What do you I like? Was, I always like the Samba. Like a Loves or a Pallet or Travel Authority or whatever they're called. Yes, I would. All right, so I'm getting ready to hit the Sheltoe Trace again. As you can see, we're at the trailhead right here on Route 1956. This is my buddy Brian right here. He uh, was kind enough to drop me off so that I can get on the trail. Um, I am ready to get started. I have been waiting to get back on this thing since October. It's now March, so I'm gonna get on the trail and I'll be talking to you guys all throughout the day. Definitely want to give out a big shout out to the Sheltoy Trace Association. And this is a massive tree that came down right in the middle of the trail. Just probably in the last week or two with all the rain that we've had. And uh, man, they've already got this area cleaned out really nice. You can see the work they've done to just get this trail completely cleaned off. Major props to the Sheltoy Trace Association. You guys are pretty awesome. One of the things I love about living in Kentucky and, and hiking here are just all the amazing rock formations. I, I, you probably saw all those videos. I mean, just the just the beauty of the cliff sides and the rocks. It's just amazing. You'd be walking through the woods and there's a 25 ton rock just sitting in the middle of the trail. It's crazy, but they're all over the place and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, just it's making the hike so much better uh, to be able to see those right now because it's still March a lot of the trees don't have leaves um, there's not a lot of overgrowth there's no spider webs which I really like that part but uh, I get to see everything I can see right through the trees and see all the all the beauty that God created out here it's just amazing absolutely amazing um, the plan for today is I'm gonna hike about 12 13 miles um, I'm gonna make my way up over I-75 to uh, Camp Wildcat, which is a Civil War monument. Uh, go there, take some pictures, hang out for a little bit, and then hike another mile or two and make my way to, supposed to, be, to some kind of a campsite that's, I guess it has a fire pit already. Uh, it's not far from water. So uh, I'm going to go check that out and see if I can't camp there tonight if nobody else is there. And uh, then tomorrow, let's just get back up and go. Uh, this hiking trip's not like my other ones. A lot of my other hiking trips is just get the miles in and go. Um, this time I'm doing 41 miles in four days. So I'm kind of taking my time. I haven't had a chance to backpack since October and it's been killing me. And so to be able to get out here and, and get on the trail and just enjoy it. I'm not trying to get a heavy, fast pace up. I'm just trying to enjoy myself. And uh, I'm really, really looking forward to these next few days because this is going to be a whole lot of fun. Typically, if I go backpacking or hiking, I don't go by myself, but uh, I think I really needed the quiet, needed the time. Um, I, uh, I'm a 45 year old with a one year old and a two year old. <laughs> you heard that right. 45 years old with two toddlers. And uh, the lack of sleep that we get and the uh, noise all the time and and everything just, I needed a few days of quiet, 
not that I don't love my children because I love them more than anything on this planet, but uh, it is nice to be in the woods where the only thing I'm hearing are trees blowing in the wind, hearing birds chirping, uh, the sound of the leaves beneath my feet. Um, it's just so relaxing. <laughs> salad tortilla for lunch um, it is beautiful out here I had to actually take my jacket off a while back um, temperatures are up in the 50s now uh, awesome temperature for hiking I mean it's just so nice there's a little bit of a breeze um, sun's out it's beautiful skies are blue no chance of rain today and uh, just really enjoying just sitting here having a little bit to eat I'm gonna get back on the trail in a second we're about four or five miles in and uh, really excited about Getting to see Camp Wildcat. These are all thorn bushes through here. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking nature really doesn't want me getting to the trail right now. Ouch. So that Sheltoe Trace blaze that I saw back there up on the hill was not to go up on the hill. No. I drug myself through a bunch of thorns to get to that stupid thing, only to realize that I'm just supposed to stay on this road the whole time. So, a bunch of blood for nothing, man. Blood for nothing. Gosh, I wish those trees weren't in the way if you could see this. I mean, you can just see for miles. We're up on top of our first climb. Not huge elevation, but we're about 1,400 feet up, and it is, it is gorgeous out here. I mean, you can see for miles once you get through the trees. I would dare say that probably in the summertime, you can't see any of that just for the simple fact that it's it's going to be covered in, in leaves and all kinds of stuff growing up. But right now, man, I can see straight through and it's beautiful. Like I said, I wish these trees weren't in the way, just the video won't do it justice, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I've never in my life seen so many shotgun shells. I mean, somebody's just like, coming out here and shooting, I guess, but there are shells everywhere. There was a whole section further back where there were red shells all over the place. Um, so I guess this is just a popular place to come out to shoot your shotgun. This might be the most random thing I've ever seen. Just a bunch of metal drums filled with cement. Just sit in the middle of the trail. Looks like we're finally gonna be uh, coming down off this ridge, but it's been awesome. It's, I don't know if you can even see, uh, back in the back, the mountains back there, uh, the hills, you just, again, the camera doesn't do it justice. You just don't get that same depth of vision. Um, but it has been a beautiful walk up to this point. Now we're getting ready to uh, head closer and closer to crossing I-75. Definitely not far from the interstate now. We made it to the interstate. But uh, there's a gas station back there with food and everything. I've only hiked about six or seven miles today. So I'm really not hungry and really don't want to spend any money. So I guess I'll just uh, keep going. But just uh, check this out. More than halfway through a miles for the day. Soon be getting up to Camp Wildcat. And uh, about a mile or two later, finding camp for the night. There's only one kind of hiking I don't like, and that's road hiking. I don't enjoy it at all um, and it looks like I've got a three mile hike up to Camp Wildcat so I guess I just need to suck it up and deal with it but once we get there we'll get back on the trail head to the campsite so.
ladies. How are we doing today? Getting plenty to eat? Huh? You doing all right? You come over and say hi. Oh, look, everybody's coming over to say hi. Come on over. We'll all hang out. Have a big party. Yeah. Y'all probably think I have food, don't you? Hate to let y'all down. Hey, girls. Yeah. Wow, there's a bunch of you. Dang. We all have a nice day. I'm gonna go for a hike. Talk to you later. I'm starting to think I may be the cow whisperer. They've just kind of been following me around ever since I saw them the first time. They just keep, they just keep coming. It's crazy. I didn't know I had that kind of power over cows. I'm like a, like a bovine master. We're all just having fun. This is just like, they're my hiking party. This must be my new tramley. Maybe I'll give them all, uh, I'll give them all their own trail names or something. Everybody's just having a good time today. This is crazy. Huh. They love me. They really love me. Ah. Looks like we made it. We are at Camp Wildcat. And the hill leading up here was really hard. But that's okay. Because here we are. So ran into a huge issue. Uh, according to the trail book, there was supposed to be a spring near the uh, the monument, and I went to get water at the spring, and the spring's dried up. And the worst thing is there's really no water for another five miles. I'm down to about a half a liter left, so I guess I'm really gonna have to conserve some water now because there's really nothing else I can do uh, at this point, so I'm just kind of stuck. I guess I'm just gonna have to figure it out. It's a little after seven, and I'm already struggling to stay awake. Uh, my little one-year-old boy decided getting up at 5 a.m. was a good idea today. And uh, I was hoping to get some sleep before I left for this trail, but I didn't. So now I am going to go ahead and go out for the night. Um, it might get into the 40s overnight, so I dress a little warm just to be safe. But uh, I should be fine. It's not really that big of a deal tonight. Um, don't have to worry about anything freezing. Definitely was a little disappointed in the water thing, so... That's probably part of the reason I'm so tired, too, is... Uh, I've only got about a... I think a quarter of a liter of water left. And uh, I have to use that in the morning so that I can hike four miles to the next water source. So... Um, but I've already got everything set up for tonight. I wasn't able to get tent posts in um, because it's basically on top of a big rock. So I grabbed a bunch of rocks and uh, pulled everything down as best I could. It's definitely not my best job setting up my tent, but it'll work. There's not supposed to be any rain tonight, so I don't worry about too much. So uh, but with that said, I will see everybody in the morning, bright and early, and uh, we'll get going for the day.